welcome back guys this is question 2.16 and today we are going to talk about it so the statement of this is if s is equal to x given that x is greater than 0 and less than 12 m is equal to x such that x is greater than 1 and less than 9 and n is equal to x such that x is greater than 0 and less than 5 find a m union n b m intersection n and c m complement intersection and complement okay so first of all let us see that what are these s m and n okay so s is what s basically lies between 0 and 12 in which 0 and 12 are not included okay so it will be from 1 to 11 okay all the elements from 1 to 11 or let me draw them as well okay so let me have them here Okay, let me have it S. Okay, this is let me have it M while this is N. Okay, so this is what this is S, M, N, and now the values we have are it is 0, 0, 0. Uh, okay and this is 1 up to this to 11 means 12 is not included similarly for m we have all the values from 1 to n in which both of these are not included so here we will have here 2 okay 2 up to this is 9 so it is not included so therefore i have to take here 8 okay uh, similarly for n where x ranges from 0 to 5 where this uh, 0 is not included so it will contain 1 and also up less than 5 means 5 is not included so here it will be let me call it 4 okay so let me represent them with different colors this is what this is s okay for m we have here This is M and for N we have here, let me represent it with this color. Okay, these are all the values. So 2 to 8 is N, uh, 2 to 8 is M, 1 to 11 is S and 1 to 4 is basically N. What do we have to find out? Let us see. So the first thing is we have to find and solution of it. Part A is we have to find M union N means M and N okay means all the values which are in M and all the values in N uh, so let me write them here so M is here and N is here so we have to take here the lowest and the highest ranges in union so the lowest range here is 0 because here we can see that in M and N 0 is the lowest so it will be from 0 and here the highest range is what that lies in M okay that is in 9 so all the values of X will be in between 0 and 9 such that X okay and that is what that is basically the solution for it okay let me correct it as well x such that x is greater than 0 and less than 9 and this is for m union n similarly graphically we can also represent it like uh, this is m and this is n so union of it will be from here all towards here so this is what all of this is basically the union which basically has this lowest limit while this one is the highest limit okay why am i including them here because these are included here while in x is greater than zero and less than nine uh, these are basically the included while zero and nine are non-included okay so i hope you have got this point uh, similarly now for m intersection n for m intersection and we have to see the column common elements so therefore in the lowest possible range i have to see the lowest value okay so the lowest value here would be one okay which is in m 
okay and in the highest range i also have to see the lowest value and that is in n and that is 5 okay so x is greater than 1 and less than 5 given that x and this is what this is the value here okay so i hope you have got my point here is that in the union you have to see the lowest value in the first limit while the highest value in the higher value while in intersection you have to see the higher value in lower limit while lower value in the higher limit okay so here this is what this is union so let me write it here again smallest value in lower limit while largest value in higher limit you have got my point here that it is here while here you have to see the highest value in lower limit while the smallest value in higher limit. Okay, so that's what we have. Similarly, here you can see that this is basically the limit here which are common and also here you can see that so this is the area which is co in common in between them okay uh, similarly now in order to find the part c of my question uh, this is part c let me use this black color so in part c what do i have to do i have to find the m complement uh, intersection and complement so first of all m complement is uh, s minus m okay so s is what s is all these values uh, while m is here so let me remove all these values from it what will i get here the first value which will be remaining here would be what uh, it is starting from 2 so therefore 1 will be remaining here while the other values because it is now from uh, 9 to 12 so all other values will be 9 10 and 11 okay this is the m complement similarly n complement will be s minus n so it will be removing all these values from here so these would be what these would be removed from the s which is here so 0 to 5 and 0 to 12 so remaining values will be from 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so these are all the values which are here now in order to find the intersection of them now in order to find the intersection of m complement intersection n complement we have to see all the elements which are common here so the common elements are here from 9 to 11 okay you can see here as well so it is what it would be x given x is greater than 8 and less than 12 okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part c of my question okay so you have seen that how i have solved it because now you can see that it is included here while 8 and 12 are not included okay so that's why i have written them here uh, the highest limits uh, which are not included and that is basically the closed interval here so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 2.16 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon